this social mobility pledge that um, that you are involved in. Very good idea, obviously, but how, I mean, I've heard things like this before. It used to be known as positive discrimination. And how do you actually get it to work? Mm. Nobody's going to say, well, that's a stupid, awful idea. But actually, people go, yeah, yeah, great, great, lovely. But, but how does it actually work? So first of all, the Social Mobility Pledge, I'm asking companies to sign up to three simple things. Having open access recruitment for all applicants uh, that levels the playing field. Setting up partnerships with schools so that children can really start to learn about opportunities that are out there for them. And then opening themselves up for, for giving work experience and apprenticeships. In fact, ITV was one of the first companies that signed up to this. But in terms of how you make recruitment more open, you can do things like name blind recruitment. Um, law firms like Clifford Chance in the city are doing this. But so there's no prejudice against if you appear to have a Muslim name or a foreign name or is that what you mean basically you're exactly, saying? Exactly, exactly. And we know that there are other kinds of recruitment like contextual recruitment where you're you're looked at in the context with peers from the same background. So for example, um, perhaps somebody getting three Bs from a particular school in a particular place that was doing less well clearly has perhaps outperformed more than someone getting three Bs at A level from Eton for example, with all the advantage and additional focus they may have had on them. So it's about really starting to look at somebody's potential going forward rather than just looking in a rear view mirror on where they've come from and having a more sophisticated mm. assessment of the candidates. So it's not actually necessarily affirmative discrimination. What mm. we're saying is people shouldn't be uh, doing worse in their job applications. How did you do it? I mean, you came from a comprehensive background and uh, a northern... So, how, you know, I mean, these are some of the prejudices that are presumably are firing you up today. I, I just think we've got talent spread evenly across our country, but the problem is opportunity isn't. And I think businesses can play a big role in changing that alongside education. And that's what I'm asking companies to do. And that if there's anyone watching this, there's millions of people we do, will be doing about to go to work, mm -hmm. people running companies, people in companies. Go and ask your boss, or if you're the boss, sign up to this pledge. If every company does it, we make a very different version I of our love the whole country idea that's a lot better. Of connecting industry and business with school and making all that much more relevant. This is what it's about instead of people faffing around for years, not knowing what, what they want to do. I like all of that. But say you implement what you're talking about here. You don't put anyone's name on an application form. There's no picture there. Um, you don't mention what their school was, whatever. And say, of 100 applications, they all turn out to be the best applicants. And the best applicants are not from a disadvantaged background or an ethnic minority or whatever, whatever. What do you do then? I think beyond the, the name blind um, assessment, there's obviously the, the normal recruitment process. And, and so what we're trying to do is make sure that people don't get screened out at the beginning when we know that's when you have the biggest tendency to lose disadvantaged young people from the process. But if you're screened out at the end, well, I mean, the the companies are obviously going to want to make sure that they get the best applicants. I think what I'm saying, though, is that they can correct their recruitment procedures to make sure they at least don't screen out talent from the word go and also if they look at things like contextual recruitment they can really start to get a much more sophisticated understanding of that applicant's mm. actual potential going forward and what that's not just good for Britain I personally don't accept that we are a country where we don't have equality of opportunity for people but actually it's good business sense you do much better as a business if rather than um, fishing in a talent puddle you fish in a, a talent pool that's got all the applicants who can really make your company better.